What is a wireless dog fence and are they safe? Oh boy, where did that dog go? Despite how adorable and enthusiastic they are, dogs can be challenging to teach. If owners haven't taught them to respect boundaries, then they'll run clear across your yard and down the street in no time. Other times, they vanish immediately when you take your eyes off of them. Being a fur parent can be worrying as you feel like you're chasing your tail sometimes. All dogs need to play, but in the wrong neighborhood, letting them off the leash could be a recipe for disaster. For cases like these, the technology of Invisible Fence was made. Ever heard of it? Training your dog to respect boundaries can be much simpler with an invisible dog fence, also referred to as a wireless dog fence. These dog fences offer your pet the freedom to play and explore safely while in set boundaries. But what is a wireless fence? And most importantly, are they safe? We'll cover everything you want to know about this cutting edge technology. But first, don't get lost in the woods when it comes to the newest dog gadgets Pet that subscribe button and ring the bell to hear all the latest doggy news first. So, what is a wireless dog fence? A wireless dog fence is a type of technology that eliminates the need for a physical boundary fence. Using a collar that is tied to a preset boundary, it produces a safe dog perimeter fence. When your dog approaches or tries to cross the invisible boundary you have set for them, the collar will be alerted. Depending on the type of invisible fence you use, the collar may produce a warning tone, feedback, or a corrective static shock. Pet parents can become concerned when they hear the term corrective shock, and rightly so. If not accompanied with proper equipment and training, it can be exceedingly cruel on the dog. However, when used correctly, it can give many doggy moms and dads the tools they need to succeed in their pet training efforts. While a conventional fence serves as a physical barrier to a dog, an invisible fence trains them to know where they can go and where they shouldn't go, when they should stop and when they should turn back. Most wireless systems create a perimeter around half an acre with many being adjustable. The unique receiver collar either corresponds with the base unit to know the appropriate boundary or it uses GPS. Dogs can roam freely within this boundary, but when they approach the perimeter, it will emit a tone or haptic vibration to alert them. With enough training, this is enough to condition most dogs to stop and turn back. Collars like the WAGS Freedom Collar use only a tone and vibration for their wireless fence systems because it's often enough for most dogs. For those dog parents that have difficult to train dogs, other collars like the Spoton or Halo Collar also offer a corrective static shock option. Contact points on the collar deliver an electric ping to the dog if they continue to ignore the collar's alerts and keep moving towards the perimeter. The strength and impact of this shock depends on the collar and size of your dog, but they generally can be likened to the feeling of a static shock when you touch a doorknob or having water splashed in your face. It gets your attention and may surprise you, but it won't leave any lasting damage. But is using one of these collars cruel? The answer to that will vary from pet owner to pet owner. The fact is, these collars can be cruel if misused or not accompanied with the correct training for your pup. But just like a leash can be cruel if used incorrectly, or keeping your dog in a confined space can be cruel, it's not a cut and dry issue. Like any tool, it depends on how it's used, and with the latest technology from responsible manufacturers, wireless fences can provide many dogs with a dramatic improvement in their quality of life. Provided you use the tool properly and take the time to train your dog with their use, if you're unsure how to do that, you can try contacting a professional dog trainer for advice or check out many of the collar's tutorial videos available on YouTube. If you're ever worried if an invisible fence might be right for your dog, ask your vet and get their professional advice. How hard is a wireless fence to use and why are they so popular? Most wireless fences available today are a snap to use with just a few clicks of a button or a few taps of an app. While the fence itself is easy to set up, you still have to train your dog on it, which can take anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. But once your dog is trained on them, they can add a lot of convenience to your life at home or on the go. Instead of setting up a whole wooden fence in the yard of your new home, just set up your portable wireless fence and get your pup accustomed to it. Easy peasy. Invisible fences can also be very practical. On properties that are hilly or wooded or both, it may not be an option to install a physical fence, but that's not the case with most wireless fence systems. Additionally, wireless dog fences don't leave any visible signs. 
It doesn't interfere with the green spaces in your yard and enhances your dog's experience of being outside in nature. This can be great for maintaining a property's value or just helping your pup to have a good view of their surroundings. So, is a wireless fence system worth getting? The answer again depends on you, dear dog owner. Do you have a yard large enough that it makes sense? Are you willing to put in the time to train your pup on their new boundary? Can you afford to get a good quality system? When paired with the right training and environment, a wireless fence can be a great gadget to enhance your dog's time outdoors and give you valuable dog training experience. What are the points against wireless fences? Despite the benefits, we'd be remiss to not mention the negatives of a wireless fence system. The first and most common issue is inappropriate use of the system. Whether using a cheap or faulty collar, or not taking the time to properly train your dog on it, any of these can lead to distress and behavioral issues in your pup. Even with proper training, there's no guarantee your dog will take to the invisible boundary, so you'll have to utilize a return on your purchase. There's also the possibility of hardware failure. The perimeter of the invisible dog fence isn't foolproof. Weather, terrain, or low batteries could cause the perimeter to fail in your pup to make it out of containment. Ultimately, the choice of trying a wireless fence is one you'll have to weigh based on you and your pup's unique situation. Wireless fences are popular among dog owners because they are simple to set up and maintain and can also be quite flexible and convenient. A wireless fence can be a great option for keeping your dog in the yard, but only if you understand the responsibilities involved. It's not as simple as set it and forget it. Pay attention to your dog's needs and patient with their behavior. Dogs are naturally quick learners, but some can take longer than others. It'll take time, training, and a lot of learning on both your part and your pup's to make sure your purchase is a worthwhile investment. Do things right and your pup is sure to be smothering you with smooches as they enjoy their free time in the yard. Do you own a wireless fence? What's some advice you'd offer to someone interested? Any recommended brands? Let us know in the comments below and tune in again for more great dog content.